victim. Next story concerns Grace Thompson, CEO of Caring for You. Australia's outstanding nurses have been recognised at the 2022 Caring for You Awards, which celebrate standout achievements in the healthcare industry over the past 12 months. And I'm delighted to say that Grace Thompson, CEO of Caring for You, joins us now on Peninsula Talks. Grace, welcome to the radio program. Hi, Brennan. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. Tell us a little bit about Caring For You, Australia's largest nurse-owned and operated agency. Yeah, so um, largest privately owned um, nursing agency. And we have been operating now for uh, about 18 and a half years. We were initially founded by Louise Thompson, who was both founder and CEO for 17 and a half years uh, until her passing um, early last year. Unfortunately, it was quite unexpected, uh, but my sister and I, we uh, now have stepped into the position after her passing of joint CEO. Um, and there's no time like a pandemic uh, in healthcare to to uh, join the join the industry um, in a whole new capacity because we're both registered nurses, but um, this is obviously our first time in the seat of CEO. So that's been a, a journey for us as, as it's been a journey for, for everybody um, in the world, really. Yeah, I guess it's probably uh, a little bit of an understatement to say we live in interesting times, um, Grace. But really, this is a little bit of a family story as well. You and your sister, your mum, and of course, we're honouring your father as well with one of these big awards as well, are we not? Absolutely, we are. Um, we've always had family, you know, built built between my mother and my father it was very much a, a joint um, effort for the two of them to push it forward. Anyone in business knows that um, it, it is that way. It becomes all-encompassing uh, and together they really drove a, a business which withstood the hardest of times, uh, both the innovation award and the core value awards as a whole i think represent the dichotomy that they manage so well indeed well with the staff numbers that you've got six and a half thousand um care workers that uh, you look after as part of care for you i mean this is a pretty significant uh, contribution that you're making to the healthcare area yeah look we are really passionately believe that uh it's only getting bigger as well um, our, our figures show that certainly um, our presence during COVID, we did a lot of testing and vaccination work, and we were also often the standby workforce for those nursing homes hit really hard by COVID that needed to furlough all of their staff essentially that were on site during that time. So. It's nice to see agency nurses starting to receive that recognition as a critical part of the workforce. Well, it was absolutely a, a, a pivotal role that you guys performed because we could see that regular nursing staff and government agencies were certainly under the pump and, and you guys stepped up. Um, it w would have been very trying, very difficult for you. Yeah, look, it was a really um, paradoxical time because we were being told it was you know, such a such a risk and we all had to be so careful in healthcare with cross-contamination and things. Uh, but at the same time, there was really that, you know, to avoid complete burnout, there was the need for a reserve workforce. So it's, I think, a good thing overall for the healthcare system at large. It's really forced us to become more stringent on a lot of things which we not us personally, but a lot of uh, systems would sort of cut corners on because of time and, and things like that. And now that's just not, not an option. So I do believe in that way it's been a, a good a silver lining. We're speaking here to Grace Thompson, CEO of Caring For You, um, private um, nursing and health care providers. Uh, um, Grace, I'm also wondering, I mean, there's been a lot of um, investigation into this healthcare sector as well, particularly in the aged care area. Um, we've had uh, royal commissions and so on. How have you guys fared with all that scrutiny? 
Luckily for us, we, as our tagline says, uh, it is simply the best and certainly that's a large part of why we do our Core Value Awards Night that we do annually since our mother's passing um, in recognition uh, of our, our nurses and internal staff who work exceptionally hard and, and to an extremely high standard day in and day out, but more so uh, because we really do put our money where our mouth is, I suppose, in terms of premium care. We've always had um, top-notch compliances and a really strict uh, recruitment process and policy, which sometimes compromises us in terms of quantity, um, but we're very passionate and Louise, our mother, was very passionate about um, we don't want to be the biggest nursing agency, but we do want to be the best. Well, wow, that's a very interesting philosophy, isn't it? Because we're reading so often now, we're not in the news cycle about skill shortages and what are we going to do to address this and that you can persist with that philosophy says a lot, I guess, about the company. Yeah, look, we, we wholeheartedly stand behind it and I think, uh, you know, over time that that philosophy is um, standing on its own legs now as we've journeyed through COVID and everything that has brought. It meant that when all those changes were happening, we didn't really have to change our processes too much because we were already very strict uh, on our requirements. So it has sort of um, met in the middle in that sense. Well, I guess given the family origins of the business, also your professional training, you and your sister, um, means that you certainly had some very valuable insights into what the business needed to carry on as well. And interestingly, of course, and very generously, you do reward those that work so hard for you. And Sue Friend, of course, is the latest recipient of your special Louis Award, I believe it is. Yes, that's correct. So um, the Louis Award is obviously based it's it's our overall award for the night our biggest award for the night it's looking at the recipient is an external uh member with caring few and they are recognized as holding all of our core values so um we have a winner obviously of each category of core values and then we have a, an overall winner essentially uh, Sue could not have been a more deserving recipient. She's been on our agency books almost since we started, uh, over 15 years, and uh, she's been committed and hardworking and, uh, you know, just a, just an outstanding member ever since she, she's been with us. So we were thrilled to be able to award her what ended up being a brand-new car. And also $5,000 worth of prize money as well. I mean, boy, oh boy, Sue's obviously been rewarded for some fantastic work. It's a wonderful and very valuable recognition that you've given her. Yeah, and, you know, I think it it should happen more than it does. We look at and, and, and imitate, like that's that's the ultimate goal. So speaking here to Grace Thompson, CEO of Caring For You. Grace, um, also if we look into the news cycle as well, down here on the Monitor Peninsula, we've heard a lot of discussion about the outsourcing of in-home care, uh, Shire Council down here, and also I think Frankston stepping away. Has that impacted you in any way, the outsourcing of, of, of aged care for in, in, or in-house care? Well, we do also offer uh, in-home care, uh, mostly in, in the private setting and it is something which we're seeing certainly a rise of um, with everything that's happened in the industry over the last 18 months to two years and you can understand it. Um, aged care doesn't seem as welcoming as it once did. It definitely does still offer the community aspect though which I think is really important and so I hope it's not completely kind of phased out over the coming years because of that. Uh, but in-home care offers a, a certain sense of, you know, creature comforts uh, and and more one-on-one -on -one time, which is also, it, it suits different people for different reasons and, and hence why we offer both 
options to to um, our clientele because we believe that's important. Let's look at some of the bigger picture items here in in the area. Nursing is a vocation. Are we recognising at last just how important the role of nursing is in our communities? I really, really hope so. I certainly think uh, it's been recognised in a way it never was um, prior to COVID. Uh, I think there's a lot of understanding that that nurses are the glue to the system and that they need to be really respected for that role that they play and really um, valued moving, moving forward. It, it can no longer be the doctor comes first and the nurse comes second, that that paradigm needs to change. And probably the pandemic has meant that it has, has it not? I, I believe so. You know, I speak to people probably every day now who do say to me, you know, nurses are, are the backbone and uh, they'll tell me a personal story about when they've been in hospital or, or needed care, um, even if it's just, say, uh nurse on call um, and those sorts of services that they've accessed and how pivotal that's been for them. So I believe so. We're talking about skill shortages and the way you address that is you basically concentrate on the quality of what you offer at uh, Caring For You rather on the quantity. What about the solution of um, skill shortages by going to skilled migrants? Yeah, I'm very much of the opinion, as is uh, my joint CEO, Bell, that that is something that the government need to seriously um, focus on moving forward. I think we, we've always had a, a large component of our workforce, uh, particularly our carers, um, who have been international. And I, I believe to really get our skill shortages anywhere near what they were pre-COVID, it, it needs to be, you know, put put in the hot seat and really fast forwarded. Thank you very much indeed, Grace Thompson, CEO of Caring For You. Grace, could you pass on to you and uh, the rest of the staff and particularly Sue Friend, our congratulations. Congratulate her on the wonderful work that she's done and also you and the crew during a very difficult time and that uh, we're now being able to talk and speculate and plan for a, a world post-COVID is probably a lot better place than we were 18 months ago. Absolutely, absolutely. He's hoping. Grace Thompson, CEO of Caring For You. Thank you very much indeed, Grace. Keep up the fine work. This is RPPFM, Peninsula Talk.